All right, so it's pretty late at night. I'm just going to talk about some things that uh, basically we got. Uh, the, the box today showed up in the USVI, and it was a pretty quick setup. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over things uh, real fast about, like, you know, what it, what it was like just hooking it up and how it's working. Uh, we've had it up for just a few hours. Um, basically, we ordered it about six months ago, and it showed up. Um, or it said it was shipped out about two weeks ago. It got stuck in customs for a week. Uh, once it got released, it was pretty quick. Uh, it came right to the address within a day, picked it up, put it on the boat. <clears throat> we unboxed it and uh, it was like super simple. They just, it's just classic Starlink. It's like three pictures and you just plug it in, turn it on, and it does pretty much everything by itself and walks you through it. Um, it took maybe 10 minutes to set it up. Once we got it set up, it took about five minutes for it to start working, uh, for it to actually grab internet. Um, I had to move it into two different spots on the boat just to kind of clear uh, the mast and kind of uh, get it on the right side of the boat. Um, it moves. Um, we're going to do a video like that's more in depth showing like how it works and and everything in our speeds and kind of a little more in depth but basically uh it moves every time the boat swings on anchor you know we are um just in the middle of the bay and the boat's moving around a lot today uh because some of the, some wind gusts so 30 to 45 degrees every minute or so and starlink just kind of finds its new spot and works with it it gets a little unstable for a second but it takes about 10 seconds for it to grab signal when that happens it's not anything that we notice when we're watching movies or anything so far i mean the kids have been just like all over it um since we got it hooked up um but yeah so you just basically unplug it we wish you unplug it or un get it out of the box plug it all in threw it on deck and it's great it's been working awesome 183 megabytes per second so far and basically no interruptions whatsoever. So um, I, I think the, the coolest thing is once they open up the cells and we're able to sail from one spot to another and get down uh, into other countries and, and go around, it's going to be amazing. Um, it is already just, just so much better than what we've got. What we've had the one thing I would suggest if you're going to get Starlink for your boat, definitely buy the mounting kit and probably haven't really looked into Ethernet adapters yet or whatnot. But there seems to be some ways to uh, run the wire. Uh, right now, the wire that comes with the unit has this giant like connector on the end of it. So getting it through like the hull and down and through back behind panels and stuff to keep the wires hidden. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult. I definitely can't run it currently like through the arch, like my radar arch or anything like that. So it's going to be, um, I'm going to have to look and see if there's any solutions for that so far. But so far, just plug it in, put it on deck and ran a wire through the port light and or through the hatch and close the hatch around it and it's fine. Um, so, uh, but if you have any questions or anything, just uh, comment on here and I'll answer them or try and get you an answer. Um, for all of us sailors who want, uh, want Starlink on the, on the water, it's like totally doable. It looks like, which is awesome. Um, but just, yeah, leave a comment with a question or anything and we'll get to you uh, and get an answer for you and, uh, have a good night. We'll do a, keep your eyes out for a video in the next couple weeks, week or two, and, uh, we'll put something together. All right. Have a good night.